everybody, it's me, Jessie with Pampered Chef, bringing you all things fun and foodie from right here in my kitchen. It's Wednesday, so we're gonna whip up some taste buds tonight, and I wanna get started right away because it's 7.20. Uh, this recipe is really easy, it should take about 20 minutes start to finish, and it's gonna be delicious, I think. So let's get started. We're doing the jerk salmon with coconut rice. The first thing we need to do is measure out one cup of jasmine or white rice, long green, whatever you have on hand. You could probably use basmati, doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm going to cook it in my micro cooker tonight. So I'm gonna dump that right in here. And we wanna rinse it really fast. And that's easy in the micro cooker because it has these little strainer holes. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on it and drain it right off with the lid. So, so fast, so, so fast. All right, the next thing we need to do is add in a little bit of coconut milk. So I'm gonna use my favorite can opener. This is a safety can opener. I know you've heard me talk about this before. It is fantastic. It takes the lid off of uh, your cans without leaving a sharp edge. So this is all perfectly smooth and wonderful and it is not going to cut anyone on the way to the recycling. This is a full fat coconut milk. So I'm just gonna give it a little tiny bit of a stir, kind of combine the coconut water with that delicious um, fatty or coconut stuff. We need one cup of coconut milk. The rest of this is going in my coffee tomorrow morning. I love coconut milk, so I am so excited for this rice. And then this is my two cup measure, has the measurements on the outside, so it's really easy to read from the inside like this, and I don't have to um, like bend down and try to see what it is. So I'm just gonna fill this up, since I did this to one cup, I'm gonna fill this up to the two cup real quick. There we go. And then we're just gonna pour this into the rice. Now you could add salt if you would like. I am not adding salt. I just don't like the extra sodium in our diet. So I am not doing that, but that is a personal choice. Just gonna push down all these delicious rice grains that got stuck on the side. And we're gonna pop this in the microwave for 10 minutes on high. So, so fast. This is a little guard that you can pop on your, um, it's usually really easy to pop on your microwave cooker. <laughs> I like that. And it stops it from leaking all over in the microwave. So I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for 10 minutes. And while I'm over here, I'm gonna put one pan on medium and the other pan on medium. I know I said I'm making jerk salmon. The salmon part is for me and I'm doing a steak with the jerk seasoning for Mr. Teacher because he doesn't like fish and I don't like steak. So this works out. <laughs> All right, the rest of our recipe is so, so, so easy. I am adding the addition of some vegetables tonight, but really dinner is the rice, some awesome fruit salsa that we're going to make, and this steak and some salmon. So since this is going to take less time to cook, we're going to leave this on my prep board over on the side, and I'm going to get these peppers cut up. I found these in the refrigerator. They need a little they need to be used up. Let's just put it that way. They need to be used up. <laughs> so I thought, well, steak and salmon and peppers and like a yummy fruity salsa sound absolutely delicious. Let's make it together. So I'm going to use one of the pans for the salmon and some peppers and onions and one of the pans for some steak and some peppers and onions. There is one yucky bad spot on there. So I'm just going to chop that out. Easy peasy, those will go in the garbage bowl. And I think I'm just going to do like some rough strips. Maybe cut them in half so they'll get in our mouths easier when we're eating. 
And this is going to be super duper colorful too. I love that. You eat with your eyes first. Of course, you could do any other vegetables on the side that you would like or a salad or just leave the, the recipe as is. I think it's easier to cut a bell pepper. You saw how I did it from the top down. So that leaves the seeds all in the center for easier to put in your garbage bowl and clean out. You don't have to worry about getting the seeds out of the inside. And I also think it's easier to cut with the skin side down. Um, personal preference. But I find the knife goes through better. All right. We're just gonna take these peppers and I'm gonna throw half in this pan and half in this pan. Not even going to add any oil. I am using the nonstick stainless 12 inch for probably Mr. Teachers and the um, nonstick for me. <laughs> All right, let's add some onion to this as well using a purple onion because that's what's also in our salsa. And I know I'm going against like everything you see on the Food Network, cutting the root in, but you know, it is what it is and that's how I like to cut up my onions, so it'll be fine. I'm throwing everything in my handy dandy garbage bowl so it can go in the compost. Does anybody else on here do compost? I'm trying to get better at it. I had a good compost pile going and then the hurricane happened and life and then it kind of all went kaput. So I am trying to get everything back together. This is a massive onion, so I'm gonna save a little bit for the salsa, probably this much, and the rest I'm just gonna throw in these pans. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Of course, if you were making just salmon, you could cook the peppers all in one pan. Yeah, I'm just being picky. <laughs> all right, let's get started on our salsa. They're, they have the salsa down here as one mango or pineapple, cilantro leaves, lime juice, and jerk seasoning. This is one of my favorite, favorite rubs. It's great on chicken. Mr. Tisha likes it on pork. I've never done it on steak, but I'm sure it will be fine for him. I love it on vegetables. And in the summertime, it makes the best, best grilled meats and veggies and fish. It's great on like pineapple, on like a tropical burger with teriyaki sauce. It's great with our raspberry habanero sauce. I really, really like this one. It's like sweet and spicy, so, so good. I am just gonna throw in the red onion that I have right here just for a little pop of color. I have some jalapenos in here too um, because we like things spicy. And I didn't have any fresh jalapenos. These were some that were in my freezer. I buy jalapenos, it seems like, in bulk, and sometimes I don't get to them quite right away, so I slice them up and lay them out flat and then put them in the freezer, and they freeze up, and I stick them in a plastic bag or in one of my silicone bags, and then I have jalapenos for whenever we have Thai food or Mexican food or jerk, just like tonight. All right, so I'm just rough chopping this, too, into tinier little pieces, nothing too crazy big. No one wants a big pop of red onion. Well, maybe I do, but you might not want a big pop of red onion right in your mouth. And we'll put that in our bowl. And this is whipping it up on Wednesday. So this is whipping it up with whatever you got on hand. And I am so thankful that Taste Buds has substitutions because if you didn't know, that you could swap mango, which I do not have because I forgot to buy one, with pineapple. It's written on there. So I am using this little fruit cup of pineapple because I also did not have a can of pineapple. I'm draining off the juice to save for later. And we're gonna dump that right in there. Of course, if you were using the mango, you would chop up a fresh mango and put that in your salsa. Now. We need a lime. You need to roll your limes or you can pop them in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Since my microwave is being used, I'm just gonna make sure I roll this really, really good. That re um, releases the juices in the lime, makes it really nice and delicious and juicy, especially if it's hard and kind of getting dried out. 
and you always want to put it in your juicer skin side up. We're just going to juice half of this lime. See, look at all that juice, right? And set that off to the garbage bowl, save this for something later. And we need a half a tablespoon or half a teaspoon of jerk rub. So I'm just going to eyeball it in my cap. The caps of all of our spices are one tablespoon, just so you know. All right, I need a spoon. And we're gonna turn this up just a tad on our veggies. So we got some purple, we got some green, we got some yellow, and we got some jerk, and it smells delicious. And that will be so, so yummy on our fish. The pineapple and or the mango and the lime juice will just cut through the fattiness of the salmon and it will pair really good with the flavorful jerk seasoning. Pardon me. Oh yes. Excellent. All right. Let's set this off to the side. Give these veggies a quick stir. onion pieces just a little bit since this was such a massive onion. I don't want the vegetables to cook down into complete mush. I want them to stay nice and fresh. But I do want them to be, yeah, a little softer. I have made a mess. All right, it is time for our protein. So I have this Steak for Mr. Teacher and I'm going to put some rub on both sides of his. This was a steak that was in the freezer so a quick method to thaw it out is to put it in a bowl of water just in its wrapper. So this was like individually wrapped steak. So I did that for him as soon as we got home from school and then I left it on the counter for about 30 minutes, so it's room temperature, it's not cold. If you put it in the pan when it's searing and it's ice cold, it's gonna just seize up and not cook right. It's gonna be nice and relaxed and get a nice sear on it right now, and he'll probably really like it. All right, so wash my hands, because I don't want salmon, or steak on my salmon. And then in my handy dandy awesome um, this is actually the sandwich bag that's a silicone bag, but I use it for salmon and fish or all kinds of things, is my piece of salmon. Um, this is skin on salmon. I had a big package of it from Misfits the other day, and I can only eat so much salmon at once, so I put half of it in to make with this recipe. So I am just putting a little bit of the rub on here. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this. There is onion and a little sugar, assorted spices, red onion, bell pepper, onion. There's got to be like nutmeg in here. Maybe not nutmeg. God, something in there like sweet and delicious and so, so, so good. I can see like maybe some thyme. Good stuff. All right, let's stir our vegetables. And look at that. Our rice is like, our rice is done. So we'll put that here for right now and then I'll check it. Tootsie saying hello, as usual. You know what? I'm going to make a decision here. We're going to throw all the vegetables in one pan. And they're going to cook. And I'm going to use this big old nonstick stainless. You can see it's got like the hash bank or little um, octagon marks in there. Nothing sticks on here. You can use a fork in here. You can use a knife in here. You can get a nice sear on things in that. Nothing's going to stick, and it's dishwasher safe. It's one of my favorite pans. And I'm just going to lay Mr. Teacher's steak in there and my salmon skin side down. And I'm going to put this off to go in the dishwasher because I don't want to contaminate anything with yucky meat juices. Easiest dinner ever, right? And it's gonna be super, super, super flavorful. Let's look at this rice. Oh yes. It 
is like creamy and delicious. I love coconut rice. I was really excited to um, try making it this way. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Hold please, can't see. Perfect. All right, there we go. That's a little better. The hazards of wearing glasses. I'm just gonna let that sit while our protein and our veggies finish cooking. Can't get easier than that. Highly recommend the micro cooker for rice and I do pasta and mashed potatoes and stuff in it too all the time. So, so, so easy. All right, while our protein cooks and our vegetables, let's talk about what we're making. We are making a Taste Buds recipe. If you don't know what Taste Buds is, it's a subscription service that Pampered Chef offers. It is three recipes every single month on these beautiful cards. This month had the jerk salmon, the uh, ramen noodle stir fry, which is the other item that you could vote for, and I'll probably make that live next week, and some hot wings with some crispy garlic seasoning, which is new. It's exclusive just for taste buds. They do that sometimes, it's really fun. That's how we got the green goddess seasoning and the honey sriracha, and my all-time favorite, the garlic parmesan. Um, so I'm really hoping that this one comes out. My sister tried it yesterday or the day before, and she said it was fantastic. So I'm excited to give that a shot. Now, every month, along with these three recipe cards, with the three recipes that are the main recipes, you also get two other ways to use the seasoning. And you get three seasoning packets. And each of the seasoning packets, like this is two and a half ounces, this is one and a half ounces, this is one and a half ounces, and this is two ounces. So it's almost an entire bottle. So you're getting almost an entire bottle of seasoning in each one of these bags and the recipes. And you get access to the Taste Buds Hub, which has a ton more recipes on there to help you use to make, um, to use with your seasonings, but to make awesome meals in minutes like this, so, so fast and so, so flavorful, and to introduce new recipes to your family. And on the recipe cards, which is one of my favorite things, like I said, are these change-ups. So they always offer a vegetarian or a vegan option. They always offer different ways to swap out proteins or fruits to make it really accessible for people. What if you have someone that doesn't eat steak like me, or you have a vegetarian in your family, or you have someone who has an allergy. So you don't want to necessarily, you know, make the same thing for everybody or make it the way that's on the card, but this lets you explore different things very, very easily. Look at these vegetables that are cooking up so nice. I've found taste buds to be really fun. I've gotten so many ideas over the years and it's great to um, go back through and like pick out different recipes. These are like all the ones that we have gotten so, so many. Taste Buds is actually on sale right now, 25% um, off. And I'm doing a special giveaway if you sign up for a three month or six month subscription. I'm gonna give you an additional uh, gift when you purchase one of those uh, just for trying it out because I think everybody needs this. Um, I just got it for my sisters for Mother's Day because they're always saying like, oh, I need something new to make. I'm so bored with this. I need some different flavors. And this is the answer. All right. I think it is time to flip over Mr. Teacher's steak. Yep. And I need to flip over my salmon. There we go. And I think just to do a little added flavor on our veggies, I'm gonna do a little sprinkle of the jerk seasoning. Easy peasy. Can you guys hear Tootsie crying in the background? All right, let's get out some plates. She's walking around, can you see her? <laughs> We're almost at dinner time. I'm starving. And just letting the coconut rice sit for a minute, it got even a little thicker. 
gonna be really good. I'm not going to plate this up like a restaurant or anything. Just gonna put the rice down. And this recipe will easily feed four. All the taste food recipes usually do four people. And I always cook for four because we eat leftovers for lunch every day. So it saves money and time. And I know you couldn't see it in the video, but this is the nonstick skillet that I am using. I'm just gonna put the vegetables off on the side. And I think that extra vegetables with this seasoning and um, like Mr. Teacher's steak and even the rice would make an awesome rice bowl. Or like a different take on like nachos. It'd be really good. I've done that with jerk chicken. It's delicious. Or like a barbecue jerk chicken pizza with those vegetables on top. Like the pizza crust and maybe like the pineapple. That would be delicious too. All right. I think we're at done. So this is how well the nonstick skillet comes up. No oil. There's my salmon, perfectly seared. And here's the crust on Mr. Teacher's steak on one side. And actually, I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute, but um, the crust on the one side, and I'm gonna get his a second more to cook. He'll probably want his a little bit more towards medium. But my salmon looks pretty tasty. And we're just gonna put this fruit salsa on the top. And again, that was just canned pineapple, some jalapenos, and lime juice, and the jerk seasoning. And that's it. We got dinner. So fast, so easy, handful of ingredients, most of them pantry. And this is gonna taste fresh and flavorful. It's light. There's no oil, minus what the fat is in the coconut milk. And um, that's pretty healthy too. So thank you so, so much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out. If you're interested in a taste bud subscription, I would so love to help you out. You could even give it as a gift like I did for my sisters. Um, there is a special way to sign up for that. So just make sure you let me know and I will help you with that. Um, it will be on sale through the end of the month, which is Sunday, I think it's the end of the month. It's coming up so fast. This month went by like that. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put hashtag replay and let me know if you have any questions. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.